What's happening guys? Welcome back. Gav, Valley Strange List. Right guys, uh, today I'm going to put a couple of um, feeding clips on the end of this. I haven't really um, done a feeding video for a little while, so uh, it's Monday, it's feeding day, so I thought I'd, uh, I'd feed the collection and if anything needs guys, you'll see it. So yeah, um, before we start that guys, if you are slightly squeamish or whatever, please turn away now because what I'm going to show you next is what happens when a mature male and a female meat and it goes slightly wrong should we say so uh yeah i uh give my last year dora para hobana mature male to uh to my friend he has two females um i have footage of this as well so i'll hopefully if i can figure out how to do it because i'm terrible with stuff like this i'll put the clip of the mate in on afterwards but uh yeah he, he managed to, the one was perfect she didn't touch him he was totally fine sorry looking over there guys it's uh brain's going for a stroll uh yeah she didn't touch him he, he's fine got him out uh he put him in with the next one she was all right they were fine he said i turned he turned his back for two seconds and yeah this is generally what's left of my uh nine inch or no it was mostly six inch from the guy last year daughter but obana great and they're starting to pong a bit now as well. So I've, uh, I've just kept this for the purpose of the video, guys. Just so uh, everybody understands, obviously. It is part of nature, guys. I think his mass was here. But yeah, as you can see. Uh, yeah. She nailed him. But. Uh, like I say, guys, that's part and parcel of the uh, the breeding process with these things. It's, it's how it goes. I think in the wild most of the time they will eat the probably wrong with this guys but we'll eat because i think he provides then for his egg sack with her um or maybe that's her thinking or she's just hungry but uh yeah sweet little update for you guys on the old uh last year dora well what's left of him poor little fella and uh yeah let's get into some feeding clips guys peace see you later Start off the feeding video, guys, with the uh, Prindigri, Panther Chameleon. Bit different from spiders and tarantulas, but yeah, he's a man. Sweet. Okay, guys, so this is the uh, first tea on the feeding video. This is the uh, Cramopelma pubescens, or Cyan pubescens, sorry, the traditional green bottle blue. Uh, I think I just got a locust out and let it go. You won't really know. I'll find another one. There's plenty here. Oh, little fella. Let's see if we can get him out to show you guys. It is, guys. The little aggressive one that he was then. Get ready. Want some dinner, fella? Do you want some dinner, fella? There's your dinner, fella. Good boy. Sweet. See you later. Peace. On to the next one, guys. Here we are again, guys. This is my Brachiopelma Hamori. Unsexed as, as yet, but. Uh... I think that there, guys, 
And I don't think I know. That is a pre-mold. That is not interested at all. So what I'm gonna do, give it a little blow to get it backwards. There you go. Flip his water dish over, because he's doing, doing some re in as normal, like so. Fill the water dish up, guys. Sweet. And that's that one. Sorry, no feeding, guys, but uh, that's a transferring pre mode. If you have a reaction like that, guys, that is generally a pre mode reaction. Sweet. On to the next one. Right, guys, and this one is the, uh, this is my last year daughter, Parobana. The, uh, the juvenile I have, I have a mature female. I did have a male, as you've just seen, but I don't know if this thing's hungry, to be honest. So. No, no, that's definitely not hungry, guys. That's pre-malt again. So that time of year, everything's going into pre-malt. Standard when you do a feeding video. Let's just give it some water and leave it there. Sweet. On to the next one, right, guys. In this one, we have my uh, Pokebatheria Onata. This is Slink the Juvenile sort of size. You'll see it now. It's down on the bottom left hand side. If I zoom in slightly, with a bit of luck, it has just molted, so it should be hungry. There you go, guys. Stunning. Oh boy, beautiful tea, absolutely beautiful tea, guys. Sweet, fill the water bowl, guys, and uh, yeah, on to the next one. Yay, somebody fed. Sweet, sweet, sweet. On to the next one. Right, in this enclosure, guys, is my pea Uh This will be its second meal, I think it is, since it molted, if it feeds. It's coming a nice size now. So, uh, let's see. There you go, guys. Boom. Sweet. Once again, guys, we're spraying the water bowl. Like so. There's actually a bit of food in the water bowl that they didn't. What the hell is that? Nice. Dirty thing. Over there. Sweet, on to the next guy. Right, guys, in this one, as you can see with the name on the lid, is my last year daughter, Cluji. It's a good size. These things eat just as much as uh, Goliath and that, be honest with you, and they, they grow a big size. So, uh, let's just drop the worm in for him and uh, we'll look at him go. See what happens. This thing never ever refuses food as you just drop that there, and boom, here we go. Absolutely stunning spider guys. The last year door of genus is beautiful. I love them. My favourite genus is obviously is you should have been most known now is Theraphosa. I love stuff that gets huge. But uh yeah. Last year door are another absolutely stunning and very underrated species, guys. Sweet, on to the next one guys. Right, guys this is the uh, P Anthrochromatus. Red Island Bird Eater. This thing eats like a machine as well, guys, so uh just drop this in and see what happens. Mm. It's not in pre mode. He wants to fight for money, guys. Then we got any money because he's willing to fight for it. Well, it's another one in pre mode, guys. Sweet, on to the next one. No feeding in this bit, guys. This is just a quick little update. It's one of the newest additions to the crew, picked up from Bugfest off uh, Andy Ohm, so many legs, top guy. And uh, yeah, this is a uh, Theraphosa apophysis, pink toed Goliath bird eater. I now have the three bird eaters, guys. Um, as you can see behind it, that is a molting web. It has literally molted about three or four days ago, so I won't be trying to feed it or nothing. Keeping it in a pretty simple setup at the moment, guys, just to see how it gets on as uh, as it grows. I'll let it stay in here for another malt or two, and then, uh, yeah, it'll uh, it'll go into something nice then. But yeah, there it is, guys. Absolutely stunning. Obviously, if you didn't know, guys, while we're on the subject, apophysis, 
all pink toes. Sturmy, four front pink toes. Blondie, no pink toes. All right, guys. Sweet. On to the next bit. Hey, right, guys. This is my uh, Ace Samani. Juvenile to adult, I'd say something like that. It's quite uh, big, uh, totally unsexed. I haven't had a molt off it yet, so uh, yeah, let's give it, uh, let's give it some munchies. See if we can get it out for you guys. My vlog, you will just about see his little tootsies. Tell you what, these crickets are pretty sharp, man. He's like, yeah, I'm out there, I'm out, and all of a sudden he's like, oh, oh, I gotta go, I'm gonna get ahead. Ta da! Hey, it's not gonna eat me. Yeah. Yeah. Ha ha! Ha ha! Right, let's pick you guys up for this because you can't see the very best. Look at them feet, legs, beautiful. Boom, no messing with you guys. Absolutely stunning to you, this is, guys, absolutely stunning. You see, it is unsexed. And, uh, yeah, sweet. Let's just drop this back a minute, guys, fill the water bowl back up and. Uh, this stupid right there. Don't lose your head with the stand, Gav. Oh. These little sexy little. Why don't none of my tranches attack all the water like somebody else's do? No, no, man. Never mind. Right, sweet. On to the next one, guys. Right, here we are, guys. Uh, just a couple of feeding clips. That was literally just a couple of the. Not even half of what is here. Um, yeah, there's a couple in there that didn't feed, but you know that's part of the part of the uh, the hobby, guys. You know everybody just shows feeding, 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 feeding. Some things they don't feed. But I'll show you why. You know, the 99.9% of the time, guys, they're in pre mold. But uh, yeah, awesome. Well, that's what we can see. Nothing really. That's about the end of it, guys. You guys have a good week. Thanks for uh, thanks for watching. Really, really do appreciate it, guys. Subscribe if you already haven't. Um, yeah, leave a like, comment, guys. I love the comments. Uh, yeah, if you didn't see the Assassin Bug video, the last one, go and check it out, guys, because uh, I have Assassin Bugs for sale as well. And, uh, yeah, that'll be about the end of it, guys, really. I'm Gav. This is Valley Strangelas. You guys are awesome. Peace!